Hi everyone, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I've got 500 now. It took me a long time, I think about five years. I'm hoping that the next 500 won't take me another five years. Um, thank you very much indeed for that celebration. I'm going to uh, do, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm going to, yeah, I forgot a bit then what the word was, but uh, I'm going to tear down this this little quartz clock and uh, I, I like this idea I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it later on thank you very much have fun okay well this is it um, I've had a look at it and it's a little bit dodgy to take it apart but here we go I might break a few things I think by the looks of it Okay, um, it's easier than I thought. You take off, take off this bit here, there, and you take this bit off here as well. Like this. As you can see, that comes off. So it just lifts off like that. So. These are the, obviously the gears, and there's a coil there. I am interested in this coil. Hopefully it's still working. Let's have a look. The gears just come off. things come up here there's your motor so I'm taking this gear off which is very delicate sorry so the rest of it as you can see, it's just gears for this second hand and whatnot, and the battery holder. I am interested in this motor. Now, it's just the core, a single, single core there, which is quite interesting. Very slim core there which will run the motor. What I'm going to do is going to try and put some of it back together and supply it with the uh, voltage. So what I can see from here is the voltage is supplied by these things here. So I'm assuming my, these two things are your positive and negative in fact you should say they okay so I'll get back to you in a minute. Hi guys uh, I apologize this this thing is not working. I tried all kinds of things to make it work so that we can finish it off. So what I've found is another clock. Uh, this is a very old clock, trust me. And look at that. You know. So anyway, uh, this clock is actually working. I've tested it. So I'm going to strip this apart. It should be the same way, simple, straightforward. So guys, this is coming off nice and easily, as you can see. It's just popping off. Um, this one is a little different from the other one designed differently as well and this coil looks smaller than this coil from the other one see so um, I'm going to just plug the battery in to just make sure everything is working there as you can see um, the motor is working it's just that um, it hasn't got the back cover to steady it in its proper place.
these should just pop out. Nice long needle there. That's the obviously second hand one. The whole mechanism is out. And this one has this circuitry, whereas this one has this big circuitry here. So it's all encapsulated. Um, I'm not sure how it how it actually works, but I can find the connections to this and see what we can do. So that is it, I suppose. Uh, tearing this clock apart, and uh, well, we've got two full prizes of one. We tore this apart. I like this circuitry better because I can see where the leads can go. Everything. So I'll figure this out and see if we can't do something with it. But to take the motor apart, um, it's pretty straightforward. Let me just show you. Show you from the other one. I will take this apart actually. Oh, it's coming apart anyway. Look, there it's coming apart like that. And that's the core in the middle there. Which is, I love the way they've designed this to make it work on a single, single, um, uh, what you call it, stator. And then armature, the way they, they've made the armature is fantastic. Um, yeah, this is the fun, so. Thank you for watching again. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up.